Everyone, shh, I'm going to show you my motorcycle, a BMW R1250 RT model 2021. I'm not going to tell you about the technical characteristics because Oli LaBelge, whose video link is below, did it very well. But I know some people have the same issues as me. So this video is here to tell you that you are not the only ones in your case. So, I'm going to tell you about the little problems or inconveniences of the new TFT dashboard, or more specifically software. For the rest, it is a superb motorcycle, handy, easy to handle, exceptional road holding, a lively and present engine as soon as you press the handle, good protection, enough to go far and long with its carrying capacity etc. But next to that there is this famous and pretty, it must be admitted, dashboard. It is very readable and well proportioned. This two thirds one third is awesome. What I don't understand is that BMW, which knows how to make motorcycles very well, you just have to see the RT since it has existed, hasn't stopped making the competition jealous. They have all tried to do better, all the same without great results. What I find difficult to understand is how BMW was able to develop such software with so many small annoyances. Let me explain. The radio or media sound is increased by two steps in two steps. So either it is not strong enough depending on the speed at which you are riding or it is too strong. On my old K16 the sound rose one by one. Speed limit on the screen. Lately, I was driving on the highway for a few kilometers, and I always had the speed limit sign at 50 kilometers per hour. Weird. Sound in helmets. There is no possibility to connect to BM. W helmets with music or radio sound. I have to disconnect a headset so that the sound appears in the headset that remains connected. While discussing in the pilot and the passenger, this is possible. Still weird. Software update. While the bike arrived in March 2021, we are on the fourth version therefore updated of the software. How many will it take before everything works properly? Playlists. For Android smartphone owners, there is no possibility of playing a playlist. Only iPhone owners can play playlists. Always weird. BMW app favorites. No way to share with someone a favorite that has been placed on the BMW Motorrad Connect app. That's a shame. Radio. Sometimes I want to turn on the radio, and on the TFT there is a message. Action impossible system not ready. And I am not alone in this case. Everyone thinks that the next update will solve the problems. But with each update, there are not really clear improvements. Of course I wrote to my dealer, who found my questions too technical. So they contacted their regional manager. But here again the answers remain vague. Even with BMW France. Supposedly the last update, that of November, 2021, was to correct the problem of playlists for owners of Android smartphones. But no, it's always the same. They can play an album, but not a playlist. As I had told BMW in one of my letters, they should have put a USB socket so that we could connect a USB key to it to play our music as it was done before. And it worked very well. Why make it complicated when the easy solution already exists and has proven itself? Too bad also that with such a beautiful screen and so readable that BMW is not offered Apple CarPlay. This would have avoided many worries for the owners of this motorcycle. The lucky owners could have put their apps like Waze, Quote ETC. It should not be forgotten that the software was designed by their partner TomTom. This is unfortunate because the much cheaper competition offers screens with Apple CarPlay. In addition, we must not forget that in its housing, despite the ventilation, the phone heats up. And I don't think he likes warm-ups very much. So imagine if you go on vacation and drive for hours in a temperature well above 30 degrees. What temperature will your phone experience in its housing? I remember when I first received the motorcycle there was an application menu, which disappeared from the second update. So the proof that the system must be able to support applications. When an update is there and the dealership gives it to you, you are never told what it improves. No writing on the subject. Nobody knows. Why still no light addresses? It's a shame for a brand that wants to be premium and that sells very expensive. Therefore high-end motorcycles. 
Why isn't BMW listening to its customers more? Of course we do not buy this motorcycle only for its dashboard or its software, because the rest of the bike is fantastic. But BMW should even have waited to release this motorcycle so that its software or all its electronics were optimal. So we will have to wait for more updates. But how much? Until everything works properly. Thank you for listening to me. Good road tool. And be careful.